everyone, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. So I managed to pick up this laptop for £20 and it come with Windows and I have to admit something to you guys, it ran like an absolute bag of trash. But you have to remember something, you're not stuck with that and there are options. One of them is Linux and it's absolutely everywhere. It's in your car, it's in your phone, it's even in your fridge. So let's grab a copy and you can find it here. This is the website and I'll make sure I'll put a link in the description so if you just click on that it should take you straight here. You want to scroll down and click on Cinnamon. And once you've clicked on Cinnamon you want to come to this location on World and click this layer online and it should just start automatically downloading. And whilst that's downloading we can come over to this website which I'll also make sure I'll put a link in the description for so if you just click on that it should open you straight to here and then you can click download for Windows and then just let them download. So now that both of them have been downloaded you want to click on this one first. Just click agree and it will automatically install for you. And this is the program so we want to click here, find the other, um, find the other file that you've just downloaded, hit open, plug in your USB and then make sure you check your USB and then just hit this button right here which is flash and then just let that process run until it's finished and that is it we're actually ready to install this onto the laptop so let's do it I've now taken our newly flashed USB and plugged it into the laptop and now what we have to do is get the laptop to recognize this as the boot drive instead of booting from the original hard drive inside of this computer. So how we do this is we turn it on and now you need to find your BIOS key. My one is escape but what I will do is I'll put a splash menu on the screen now and what you have to do is find your manufacturer of laptop and that should tell you the key that you have to press on boot up. And it should take you to a screen similar to this and what we have to find is our boot device options. So I'm just going to press F9 and then we want to go to our mass storage device and that is our USB. So if we click enter, there we go, it brings us to this grub menu and we just want to start Linux Mint. We've now booted into our operating system so from here you can either save the files that you want to keep off the original hard drive and then we can actually delete all the contents. So how you do this is come down here to files and then under devices is going to be everything that you want. So this 250 gigabyte is my hard drive so I'm just going to take the files that I want to keep off it. And once we've taken all the files that we want to keep we can come over to this little DVD icon, double click it and this is going to take you through the installation process. So the installation window is actually pretty straightforward, we just want to click our language and hit continue. Choose our keyboard layout, I'm in the UK so I'm going to click UK. And then you want to connect it to your Wi-Fi, so I'm going to go do this now. And now we've connected to the internet, just click the continue button. You want to install the multimedia stuff, so we just click that and then hit continue. Nice, so what it's done is it's actually detected the partitions and we don't really need them now we've taken all of our files off the hard drive. So you can just click yes and it will try. It will automatically do what it has to do. And then when you come to the installation type screen, I'm going to be clicking erase disk and install Linux Mint because I want all my files to be completely off of the hard drive. And then we can just hit install now and then click continue choose your location click continue and then this is the bit where you can name your computer and add a password so I'm going to do that now and once we typed in all of that information just hit continue and now it's actually going to install the OS so you could just leave this be or it has some interesting splash menus right here which will tell you a little bit about the actual OS and there's a lot of stuff that you can do with it so it's also worth a little read through that but I'm going to speed this up and I'll come back once it's done 
And there we go, it's been fully installed and we're pretty much done. So what we can do is shut down the computer. And once it's shut down, we can take the USB out and reboot it to make sure that it's actually installed properly. So here's my USB, I'm going to put it over here and boot up the computer again. And voila! When you turn on your computer for the first time, you should get this window that pops up. And it basically gives you little step-by-steps -step about what this operating system is about. But I think this is awesome. Now the whole thing feels really quick and snappy. So that's just awesome. So that is the OS completely installed onto the laptop. And I have to tell you guys something. It is awesome. It didn't break a sweat with deliberate office packages, nor did it break a sweat when I had multiple tabs open on Firefox, which I think is particularly cool. This OS has given the laptop a brand spanking new life, which I'm probably going to be using it on a daily basis. And there's not a target audience that I would suggest this video to, but if I did have to pin it on something, I would say this is an awesome, inexpensive way to get a workstation for students that's going to do everything that you would need it to do. But not only would this sort of thing be great for students, it would be awesome just to have a nice little workstation around the house that's very inexpensive, so just anyone can sort of use it. So really, this applies to absolutely everyone. This part is for you parents out there, and this OS has some really nice third party applications that you can download which will give you full parental controls over the OS. One of which that comes to mind is something called Mint Nanny, and that, I, I come across that just after a quick little research. But not only that, it comes pre-installed with Firefox which also has some really nice parental controls, so it will stop the kids from looking at inappropriate content. <laughs> So with that being said, that does bring me to the end of the video. I really enjoyed this one because it's actually quite fun. But if you have any questions, do not hesitate to put them in the comments and I will try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you later.